Hello everyone, I'm Webber Sol. In this video, I'm going to show you the simulation of file transfer protocol using the UDP. In this, I've created a two Java programs. One is for the server and is one for its client. Now, the for the file transfer, TCP is recommended because TCP can frag segment the packets and reassemble them while you send the large data. But in UDP, the segmentation is not done. That's why the UDP is only sent for the connectionless connectionless communication where you need not acknowledge whether the message is received or not such as the DNS server and few others although doing the FTP using both TCP and UDP will let you know the understand understanding the working of the UDP and TCP protocol please check out my TCP FTP video now in this, I'll let you explain the program. The UDP has datagram socket, datagram packet. Now all the communication done through UDP packets is in form of byte arrays. That's why in buff and out buff are the byte arrays being created. The port is used is 50,000. Now the program has inc is been included in the try cache block while the sending process or the program keeps on running infinitely until you close the program. And the socket, the datagram socket is defined on the port 50,000 defined over here. As already mentioned in the my previous video, you can use any port above 1024 up to 65536. Now it will print a message that the server is running. We need to create the in buff to accept the messages coming from the client. That's why we created the by byte array for the in buff. And the in packet is the datagram packet of the in buff. Now we, uh, it will receive the packet sent by the client. It will get the source port and the source address. The message will be found from the packet using this in packet dot get data from zeroth position up to the length of the in packet we will show that the client has connected on the source address and the source port now this directory contains the text files to be sent to the client when requested fl is the list of files in this directory now to send the messages i'm using the string builder I will I will let you know why the string builder is used. Now I have count I have counted here the number of files that can be read and sent. If the files are hidden, they cannot be read. Now the message has been appended to the string builder that these many files are found. Again after that, I will append the name and the size of the files to the string builder. Again, enter the file name for the download. This will be displayed to the client that after after showing the list of files, we will send this message, enter the file name for download. Now to send this the whole string builder, we need to create the out buff. Now since the message needs to be sent in form of byte array that's why I'm converting the string builder to the string and after the string I'm getting the byte from that so outbuff has the byte array of all the messages I have appended over here now I'm creating the out packet on the this array from from the, the whole length from 0 to outbuff dot length on the source address and the source port now the packet is sent using the socket dot send now when the client will receive the packet the message will be displayed and the user will input the file name that's why the in buff is created it will receive the packet was sent by the client it will have the file name which is entered by the client and it is extracted from the in packet dot gate data and we will show the requested file name is this one 
Now to check if the file exists or not that the client has requested for the existing file and not the invalid file. This code will check it over here. Now to again compare it with the string I'm using the string builder. I will compare the all the file names in the directory with the file name I have received. If the file exists, then I will get the index and file the flag, the file exists, will be set to be true. If it is false, then I will show, send a message error that the file is not found and will be sent to the client, which will be displayed to the user. If the if file is found, then I will start sending the files. I will create the new file from the index that I have obtained over here. Index equal to i when the file is found. And the get absolute path will get the file path so that I can create the file over here. The file reader is used to read the file and the buffer reader will read through the file. The string s is initialized to null and the string builder is used for the same reason I have mentioned above. I will keep on appending the line which I have which have been read from the file. So until the last line is null, the 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 line read by the buffer reader will be appended to the string builder. When the, f the file reading is finished, the message will be displayed that the file is successful and the socket will be closed. Now to send a message, create the array out buff. The same process that we have done, we cannot directly get bytes from the string builder that's we have, have to convert from string builder to the string and then the bytes. Now create a packet on the out buff that out buff zero to length address and source port now send a packet this packet will be sent to the client if any error occurs in this process it will be displayed here using the exception and the cache block is for the main drive block mentioned over here now let's go to the client file here I have created the datagram socket and packet for the client in buff and out buff for the same reason just uh, running on the same port that the server is running now I will get here I have to enter the localhost server address which is 127.0.0.1 I will create the socket on that I will send a empty message to the server that the client is requesting that's why the message is nothing it is just the empty string the packet is created and sent to the server now this will receive the max size is 65k 64kb that's why the in buff is to be is set as to be 65535 now it will receive the packet sent by the server the file list will be will be printed over here which are being accepted by this packet now to send a file request this code will get the file name from the user and will be sent to this server now to receive the file I created the new in buff array the same process goes on over here the data is been extracted if it is error, then we will show the message that the file doesn't exist and the program will terminate if if file exists. Then we, then we start writing the file. Now over here, I am using the same file name, it is entered by the user so that the file, the requested file name and the created file name will be safe, the same. I will keep on writing the data and after writing the data, I will flush the I will close the buffered writer after that this message will be displayed that the file write is successful if any error occurs this will be displayed over here now let's check the program let's run the server server is running and this is the client there are these many files are found now let's enter the file name to be 4.txt 
it's this file other files are the backup files the file that is successful let's check if the file is read or not it is over here for our text the same file that is requested again again let's go for another file let's go for the the maximum data size that can be sent as a payload is 65509 bytes let's go for that the file that is successful let's open it this one over here the same now let's go for a more bigger file that is 6 dot text see it cannot send us so much so big file that's why it gave the error that message is too long it cannot send a file so that's the limitation of UDP the small data size thank you for watching